enchanting musical soundscapes, deep colored textures, and unbridled romantic expression. These are the elements of my upcoming debut album called Lady of Arbor Hill. Fondly named after my childhood home, which has about 20 arbors now on our five acre property. So it definitely deserves that name. Lady of Arbor Hill is a passion project of mine, which means I have personally invested into the making of it and it is almost complete. But I'm on here just to ask you to donate if you would like to. Um, your financial support would mean the world to me and it would help me to continue creating music in the future. Each of my romantic songs are woven, 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 woven. That's such a weird word. Um, they're woven with different elements of my childhood home. So in one song, there are sounds of the wind chimes ringing in my front yard. They're hung on the sugar maple tree, which is actually five sugar maple trees wrapped into one. So it's kind of like that tree you see in British romantic movies. I think that's the genre you would call it, where the protagonist just, you know, wistfully leans against the tree and contemplates life. <laughs> and you will see that in one of my upcoming music videos, which is exciting. But yeah, so the wind chimes are featured in one song. In another song, there are the playful notes of our piano in my living room, the familiar sounds of birds chirping, just general bird song from my bedroom window are featured in another one. So it's not as if my songs just represent Arbor Hill, they literally bring the sounds of Arbor Hill into your listening experience. So I think that's very exciting. I've recently been meditating on a quote by Dostoevsky, which is, beauty will save the world. And I think this is reflected in just the general theme of Lady of Arbor Hill because there is, of course, beautiful textures and uplifting sounds in my songs, but you will see that there is the mood and the mindset of grief, just the phases of grief and all the complexity that entails. Writing the songs on my album and bringing them to life has felt like transforming grief into beauty, which is what Dostoevsky talks about in his quote. So I hope that my music inspires all my listeners to just Try and find the beauty that is around them and allow its healing essence to transform them as well, just as Arbor Hill has transformed me. And here comes my mom. She's on her golf cart, so sometimes it feels like a campsite Chicken here. In there if you want it. Chicken? Oh, okay. I have a glass of water here. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Okay. In the famous book called The Art of Loving, Eric Fromm describes our awareness of separateness. He claims that our experience of separateness is what arouses our anxiety and is the source of all our guilt and shame, which of course is the source of every broken relationship. He then references the biblical story of Adam and Eve, a story I personally think about all the time, where the first man and woman were in the ancient Garden of Eden, they experienced perfect intimacy with God, their creator, and the one rule that they broke, which was to not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, because once they would know evil, they would become it. And God knew this, which is why he lovingly instructed them not to do this. They became ashamed, and not only because of the fact that they weren't clothed, but because of the fact that they were aware of their separateness, that Adam and Eve came from different sexes, different genders, and they had not yet learned to love each other. They didn't know what love was. And I'm sure we're all aware of the fact that we can know people, we can be in relationships with people and still feel so distant from them if we don't actively love them. Eric Fromm describes it as man's deepest need to overcome this separateness. He goes on in his book to describe all these ways that we try to overcome this feeling of being detached from each other and from the world. Of course, one of the ways he describes uh, achieving union with the world is through art. And this is primarily how I seek community and to be understood by not only humanity, but by my maker. And so Lady of Arbor Hill is my way of reaching out to the world and trying to make sense of the grief and the immense heartbreak that we all experience through my vulnerable songs of heartache and longing. And there is one song on Lady of Arbor Hill that is called Arbor Hill, and it is almost like a lullaby, an invitation to come to this place. That reminds me of the Garden of Eden, our original home, where we experienced perfect union with God. It's my hope that by listening to my songs, it will feel as if you've been transported here and 
the more that you listen to my album, the more you will understand how these gardens and colorful landscapes have influenced my own artistic sound. In today's music industry, music artists only receive about 0.04 cents per stream, and that's how most music is listened to nowadays, which is understandable. It's not as if we're buying CDs for our CD players or, oh, there's a fly, <laughs> or CD players in our car because those don't really exist anymore. I know vinyls are coming back into style, so I am considering making a vinyl for my album because I do have a Crosley record player, so it'd be fun to play it on there. But my point is streaming my music only goes so far in supporting my music career, so donating directly to my album campaign would be a great help. You will see there are some specific perks if you decide to donate a specific amount on my album campaign. If you donate $30, you'll get my CD and handwritten thank you card. If you donate $40, you'll get handwritten song lyrics. So you would choose a song off my album, which features 10 original songs, and I would send you my elegant script in the mail of uh, one of those songs of your choice. $50, you would get behind the scene photos. So I'd print them out, probably at CVS, <laughs> and send them to you in an envelope. Um, I would also probably ask you what kind of pictures you're looking for. So do you want behind the scenes of my music videos? Would you want behind the scenes of my album photo shoot? And once you respond, I would send those over to you. $60, you'll get my album t-shirt, which will feature a dusky pastel color scheme. So if you're into that kind of um, style, then I think you'll like my t-shirt. And of course it features my album title and the cover art. $70 goes towards my exclusive album poster, which also features my cover art. If you pay $100, you'll get my music video scripts. I have gone through so many revisions of my scripts for my music videos that I have released this year. And even though it was stressful at times and I was just constantly laboring over how exactly I wanted to bring about my vision on the screen, you will get a glimpse into my creative writing process. Now this is a fun perk, $125 goes towards a Zoom call with me. And I know it's a little strange to ask for that much money just to talk to me over Zoom. But the thing is, when you really ask introverted singer-songwriters like myself about my album, we will overshare. We will just share our heart to you. And I know that is what I would do. So that's why I put this perk later on in the list. So $125, you can discuss my album with me over Zoom and it can be for as long as you like. I'll open up my schedule. It can be more than an hour, you know? However long you want to talk about what it means to long for home. Just the universal longing we all have for peace, which is reflected in my album. So there's that. If you want an all-in-one package with a $15 discount, so you'd get all the perks in this purchase, it goes for $400 and you would get the CD, handwritten thank you card, the song lyrics, behind the scene photos, the t-shirt, the poster, the Zoom call, video scripts. So now you see why it adds up. So yeah, those are all the perks. If you just want to donate a custom contribution, that would be amazing as well. Thank you for taking the time to just listen to my vision for Lady of Arbor Hill. And uh, I hope you enjoyed getting to hear the concept of it and the musical inspiration behind my songs. I would love your financial support, and if you're not able to donate, you can still share my music when it releases on September 22nd, which is the last day of summer. And until then, I hope you enjoy what's left of the summer season. Thanks so much.